Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to replace the radiator on this Freightliner Cascadia. This radiator replacement will be similar to all Freightliners with Series 60, DD15 or Cummins ISX. The reason why I'm going to replace the radiator is because it's leaking cool and you can see it is dropping from there and it's coming from the top over here. So the first step is to remove the bumper. The bumper out of the way. The next step is to drain the coolant. While the coolant is being drained, I'm going to extract the AC gas. Now I'm going to remove this mud cover, removing all these bolts to get more room to remove the radiator. Now the next step is to remove these hood cables and hold the hood. I'm gonna remove both of them. With the hood cables completely removed, I'm going to drop the hood. Then I'm going to place this drum with these pieces of wood to hold this area of the hood to prevent any damage to the hood brackets because these brackets are very fragile, they can break easily. Now I'm going to remove the CAC holes on the driver side and the one on the passenger side. With the CAC holes out of the way, I'm going to remove this bar, the one that connects all the way to the engine here. This is a 21 millimeter bolt, and this one right here is a 21 and 22 millimeters. Also, I'm going to remove the two bars on this side too. The same way, this is a 21 and 22 millimeters. This other one right here, that's a 21 millimeter. And the one that is right here, a 21 millimeter, to remove the bars then hold the radiator brackets. Now I'm going to disconnect the sensor, the coolant level sensor. I'm going to remove this hose, this other hose right here, and the other hose. Now I'm going to remove this line for the overflow. I'm going to remove this 3A bolt right here. I wanna pull the hose. And now I'm going to remove this 1116 bolt. There is four, there is one over there and two on top to completely remove the source tank. Okay, the AC system is completely drained. Now I'm going to remove these hoses from the AC condenser and I'm going to remove the AC dryer brackets. With the AC lines out of the way, I'm going to remove this coolant hose. With the coolant hose out of the way, I'm going to remove this fan cover by removing these three A bolts. There is two on this side and two on the other side. And then I'm going to remove it completely from the radiator. With the fan cover out of the way, I'm going to remove the fan by removing six nuts over here, nice 16. This will help me to prevent any damage to the fan or the new radiator I'm going to install. Okay, all the top components of the radiator are completely removed. Now I'm going to be removing the bottom radiator hose and the two transmission cooling lines. For the two transmission cooling lines I'm gonna be using a 1516 grains to remove the hose. Okay, all the bottom components of the radiator are completely removed. So the radiator is ready to be removed from the chassis. So I'm going to be removing these bolts. I wanna remove the two bottom ones. There is one and there is two. So I'm gonna remove these two first on both sides. I'm gonna leave this one here. Okay, with the bracket bolts removed, I'm going to place this chain to get the uh, cherry picker on place to hold the radiator and then I'm going to remove the last two bolts then, uh, then still holding the radiator on place now the radiator is completely loose as you can see all the bolts are completely removed so now I'm going to get the radiator up with the radiator up I'm going to make its way out of the frame okay the radiator is completely removed now the next step is to remove the charger cooler by removing these bolts there is one here one over there 
one on this side and one on this side there is four bolts holding the CAC and I'm going to remove this lower fan cover by removing these three A bolts on this side there is two on this side and two on this side and I'm going to remove the transmission fittings transmission cooling fittings okay all the components of the radiator are completely removed now I'm going to drop the radiator to the floor to remove the brackets by removing these bolts over here there is two bolts there is one on the bottom another one over there and another one over here so it's four bolts holding the two brackets because I'm gonna be installing an aftermarket radiator that's the reason why I'm going to remove the brackets if you install a OEM radiator from Freilander dealer you don't need to remove the brackets because the new radiator comes with the new brackets okay all the radiator brackets are completely removed okay, I have the new radiator here freeze inspect the radiator for any damage around because sometimes can happen while the radiator is being transported can present damage around the cells or other components so the radiator comes with no new bolts and uh, and bushings and here i'm gonna install them on the radiator the new bushing on place i'm going to install the radiator bracket with the radiator brackets on place i'm going to install the cac and the fan cover okay the cac is on place the fan cover is on place too now i have the radiator with the chain to the cherry picker so i'm going to make its way back to the radiator bracket over there once the radiator is up i'm gonna push it all the way in so the radiator is in now now i'm gonna drop it and i'm gonna align it with the brackets with this bracket over here i'm gonna align the bolts okay so the radiator brackets are aligned now i'm going to place the bolts and i'm gonna tie them i'm going to install all the six bolts the three on this side and the three on the other side with the radiator bracket bolts on place i can safely remove the chain and the cherry picker from the radiator the first thing i'm going to do after placing the radiator on the frame is to install the fan and the cover okay with the fan and the fan cover on place i'll go and double check the fan nuts because this is a very important piece of the engine if this falls something serious is going to happen so now i'm going to install the coolant tank okay the coolant tank is on place i'll go double check now i'm going to be installing all the coolant hoses i have all new coolant hoses for the radiator and the coolant tank I was replacing every time you replace the radiator to prevent any problems on the road. Okay, all the coolant hoses are on place. They're all tied. They will check all the time. Now I'm going to reinstall the transmission fittings. Um, just place them in the correct position. And I'm going to install the transmission cooling hoses back on place. Okay, the two transmission lines are back on place. Now I'm going to reinstall the AC dryer and the AC lines back to the condenser. Okay, the AC lines are back on place. Now I'm going to reinstall the CAC pipe and the hose on the other side. Okay, the CAC pipe and the hose on the other side are on place. Now it's time to reinstall the radiator bar that holds the brackets to the engine i'm gonna reinstall the three bars the two on this side and the one in the other side okay so the radiator bars brackets are on place they're totally secure now i'm going to reinstall the coolant level sensor plug okay, the coolant level sensor cable is back on place i always make sure that it's totally secure now i'm going to recharge the ac system and now I'm going to fill the coolant system with new coolant and I'm going to replace the coolant filter as you can see it's all dirty okay the coolant 
system is filled with new coolant the new coolant filter is installed now I just gonna double check for small leaks around the area I work and the hoses are replaced um, the next step is to install the hood cables back on place and to place this cover the mud cover and the bumper with everything back on place it's time to start the engine for this around the whole side of the the radiator, the coolant tank, the other areas. So I'm going to let the engine run for a while when the temperature reaches its maximum. Okay, the coolant temperature is about to reach its maximum. Now I'm going to open the hood and check for leaks. Now I'm going to check for leaks around the radiator area. Okay, and the last thing to do, do is to check the AC to see if it's cooling. In this case, it's working fine without problems. Okay, so this is all I'm going to show you about the radiator replacement of Rylander Cascadia. This radiator replacement will be very similar to all Freilander Cascadias and other Freilander models and some Western Star models. It may be different by uh, components around the radiator, but the process will be very similar. So if you have any questions about this video, just comment below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Please like the video, share, subscribe and thank you for watching.